first things first. For about two weeks now, since my last video, I've been thinking about my next video. I wanted to shoot a video on my a7 IV that I'm shooting on here. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I, I get into this analysis paralysis position. And honestly, I don't want to do that. I want to create these videos, get them out there, keep them frequent. And I'd rather have shorter videos and not these 19 minute perfection videos that take weeks to edit. I want to get content out there so you can check it out. And that's what this video is. So this is the Brevity Jumper Photo Backpack. Keep watching. For the hybrid shooters out there that fall into the same category as myself, most times I'm walking out of the house with some sort of Sony mirrorless camera or my Fujifilm X-E4. Maybe I throw a film camera in my bag, but I need something that fits a need. And this specific need is the everyday camera bag. It's a bag that doesn't look like a lot of camera bags do. It doesn't look tactile. It looks like a backpack, an old school Jansport you throw in your back, but the inside and inner workings of it are a little bit different. Getting right into it. This backpack, the Brevity Jumper Photo Backpack, it is so sick. It is awesome. It looks like an old school Jansport backpack, and I love that. The look of it is so clean. They thought this bad boy out. Getting into the look and design of this guy, this is the Pine colorway, and Brevity sent this out, so big shout out to them. I was excited to try this. So many different people on YouTube are reviewing this bag and saying how much they love it, and I just love the little features, and inside of the bag, you have flexibility to put things where you need them. Battery compartments, lens compartments, you never need to know where stuff is. Every single place and thing that you're carrying that day will have a safe place inside of your bag, and it doesn't even look like a photo bag. Look, it doesn't even look like a camera bag. It just looks like a backpack that you're carrying the Jansport like you used to use. Did I mention this right here for when you're traveling? Throw it on your roller bag. And for me, with having kids and the amount of stuff I have to carry through an airport, my goodness, this makes it so much easier. I don't have to worry about my bag falling over. And this is exactly what I need so I can fit this under a seat and it can be my personal item. It's it's honestly geniusly laid out. Side compartment to quickly grab the camera. You have the front main compartment so when it's laying on its back, you can grab all of the camera items just by a quick ha. Look at that. And you'll be surprised how much different stuff can fit inside of this bag. Check it out. So to keep the video short, clean, and get you all the information you need very quickly, I'm gonna feature dump a little bit. Yes, this fits up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro, and that's what I use every single day. So a 16 inch MacBook Pro, and it has this really amazing waterproof zipper up here. So when you check this out, bam, you know your laptop's safe in there, so you don't have to worry about any splashes or rain getting in there. This little cool right here, secret passport bag. Oh look, oh look. There's, there's money in there, who knew? But I, I use this a lot for random things. You can fit your phone inside of there, you can fit, you can put some money inside of there, you can put your passport inside of there, maybe put some, some gum inside of there. Secret bag, keep your bag close if you're in cities and traveling in places that you're unfamiliar with. Like I said, another peace of mind. Run your zippers through each other like this, and if someone's trying to open your bag, and you're in somewhere you don't know, it keeps them nice and safe so you're not losing out on a camera lens or something else you have inside of your bag without even knowing it. So, a little peace of mind tipper trick right there. In the top part of the bag, there is a really cool storage space. They recommend, Brevity themselves recommend, that it's just, just enough space for you to put a secondary set of clothes, like some pants, a sweatshirt, or whatever inside of here, and uh, you're able to stash some cables on top if you wanted to, but I absolutely love using that for my point-and-shoot camera setup of the day. So if I have a main camera setup down inside of the bag, I can carry a 7200, I can carry a 24 to 70, I can carry a mirrorless body in the main area, and just in the top, I can have a point-and-shoot like my Fuji X-E4, or I can throw a film camera inside of there, and it doesn't take up anywhere else in my bag. So I love having that quick draw accessibility for both cameras because I can get to the top camera quickly, or like I said, if I'm carrying a point and shoot film camera, or I can use the side entryway for my main video camera, my main photo camera for the day and get to everything else I need in that way. Very rarely am I personally carrying multiple tripods and very rarely am I attaching them to my backpack in general. I usually just carry them in my hand. But one cool feature with this is that it will fit inside of this super stretchy side compartment. You're able to fit massive Nalgene bottles inside of here and it stretches. And if you wanted to throw a tripod inside of here, it has an adjustable clamp and hook on the side of there. So you can put a tripod here 
or if you wanted to, it has the tripod straps on the bottom of the bag, allowing you flexibility so you could put a tripod or a Joby there. So it has flexibility of two different places to carry tripods, or you could carry two tripods. I wanted to keep this video super short, get you all the information you need, as well as see the color in person and see how much stuff you can put inside of this bag. My biggest hesitance on purchasing this bag the first time I saw it when everybody else was reviewing it was, am I going to be able to fit the necessities that I need for a normal shoot or a normal walk around town? Just having something like a 2470, some batteries, and maybe a film camera. And it fits that and more. The fact that I can put a 70 to 200, I can put a wide angle lens, and my 24 to 70 all in the same bag. Hell, I can put a drone inside of that thing with my camera. It really allows you the flexibility without looking like a massive camera bag. Sleek, stylish, aesthetics are everything at the end of the day. And I absolutely love this pine green colorway. So big shout out for uh, Brevity to send this out. Thanks for watching this video and watching this review. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe because I'm releasing videos more frequently. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.